It's October. It is October. And that means it is the time of the house. The haunted house. For my haunted gingerbread house, I'm going to make a fairly standard, just straight gingerbread house. Then it's all going to be in the details. I want to use some of my cookie cutters, bat and a black cat to fill in the details of this house uh, to make it look more haunted. In particular, I'm going to do some falling off shutters and some boarded up windows, as well as try to do this ridge line detail using royal icing. Uh, I'm going to try to pipe it onto a piece of foil, let it harden, and then stand it upright and try to stand it up on the ridge of the roof. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a try. The other thing that I'm going to do to create a more haunted house look is make this tower piece with the square Victorian style roof. And I think that all these details together will take a fairly standard gingerbread house and turn it into a haunted Halloween house. So to make the shutters, what I'm doing is carefully cutting out the window shape out of the wall and then I am keeping that piece of dough and then cutting it in half to make each side of the shutter and then also just scoring it lightly to give some detail of wood. Um, this may or may not show up very well after baking. I'm going to put it in the fridge before I bake it, uh, but hopefully it will still show up once I've done baking. To make the pieces of wood that will board up the windows afterwards, and see how that will work, uh, I'm just cutting little strips. This one needs to be straightened up. And then a scoring it as well to make wood pattern. Just with my knife. Oh, it's getting a bit sticky. I'm gonna have to put this dough back in the fridge soon. And then I'm just balling up little pieces of dough to make the nails at the end. And there you have a little board. Here I am getting ready to make the glass to go in the windows of my haunted house. I think they're going to be orange. Together, this haunted house, I would like to have black and orange icing to make it more atmospheric. I think white evokes more of a winter Christmas feeling. So I'm going to color my icing black and orange. Now, before I start assembling this gingerbread house, I want to put the silhouette of a black cat, or maybe a ghost, 
in the window. Where's my ghost? Let's see which one looks best. Hmm. Can't find my ghost piece. Where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. So either the ghost, ooh, which looks pretty good actually, or the black cat. Or just the cat. I think the ghost looks best actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some icing on and then glue him to the back of the window just really quickly so that I can have that. Looks pretty cute. I intend to put a little light in here too, so hopefully it'll be backlit. All right, now that I've got that, I'm going to start assembling the house. Now, normally I would do all four walls, but before I go any further, I won't put the door on. Normally, in a gingerbread house, I would put the door on, open out. But because this is supposed to be like a haunted house, I want to have the door on the inside opening in as sort of a sort of creepy, creaky, come in if you dare type thing. So I'm going to do that right now while I have access to it. Otherwise, I think my knuckles would knock stuff down. There. I like that. Okay. Now, as normal, this is going to have to sit before I put the roof on. But because this haunted house also has a bit of a tower that goes on top of the roof, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the tower so that it is solid and I'm not assembling it on a slanted surface. The other tip I have is because the bottom of the tower is has a angle so that it will sit on top of the roof, here you can see, I'm going to assemble it upside down so that I have flat edges to lean against. And then hopefully when it's time to put the roof on, this will be this will be dry. One of the things that I want to do to decorate this house is make a decorative ridge line, almost like a wrought iron style decoration. And so I'm what I'm gonna to try to do is pipe a decoration onto this waxed paper and let it harden and then hopefully I'll be able to peel it off and then stick it on top. Uh, I've never done this before so I don't know how well it'll work but I want to give it a try. Anyways, I'm just going to put the roof here so that I know about how much to do. I'm going to... Right, so it's going to be... I'm going to have like a post. Posts, I guess. I know, it's all right. It's kind of cute. All 
All right, so the tower is pretty firm. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly put the roof on. Yeah. I've got the flat piece to go on top. Yeah, mostly fits. Well, let's just give this a try. It may fall apart. <laughs> This is only possible because my icing is just ridiculously thick right now, which is very helpful. Now this, I'm going to, I'm going to slide this piece in and glue it on where it seems like it should go. I think it's about here. My roof pieces aren't touching on the sides. Look at bit of a gap. Oh well. I like the way it looks from the front though. I think it's looking quite cute actually. Or spooky, not cute I guess. I'll fill it in with black icing. It'll be fine. Everything is very, very firm, so I'm going to put the roof on. I'm just going to take some extra icing and fill in the gaps. Actually, there aren't very many gaps, it's pretty good. Um, I will also fill in the top here, but I'm going to wait so that I can put my decorative pieces in when I do that. Now that I've got the roof on, I'm going to put the tower on. I'm just gonna line it with icing and plop it on. Final touches are some of the little wood plank board pieces. Wood plank board pieces that I'm going to use to board up the windows of the house. The shutter pieces that are going to dangle off. So let's get to it. I'm gonna see if my little royal icing decorations are going to work. Oh, okay, so they're still not hard enough, so no. <laughs> Good morning! It's the next day, and the icing is hard. So, I am going to start decorating this house. I'm going to take all of the little extras that I made and see just how spooky I can make this haunted house look. So in addition to my little icing roof pieces, which are gonna go on like that, I have taken some of the bats, colored them black with icing, and I have this idea to use some craft wire and like put the bats up flying around the house. So, I've got some wire, got some icing, got some bats. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide whether to glue the bat to the wire first. Yeah, I think I'd better glue the bat to the wire first.
Well, this is annoying. But I think it's cute. I don't know. What do you think? It's not perfect, but I kinda like it. So the bat is attached to the wire. It's very attractive back there, isn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to try to glue it to the inside of the roof. There's a little crack in my roof that I will that I will fill. Oh no! Apparently it's not dry yet. So while I wait for my little bat to dry, again, I am going to thin some of this extra black icing that I have. Uh, it's been in the fridge, um, but it's very, whoa, it's very thick and hard. I'm going to thin it, and then I'm going to use it to start decorating the house because my construction icing is just too thick. So I'm gonna thin it down and see what we can do. So to thin the icing, I'm going to very slowly add just teeny tiny spoonfuls of water. Uh, it takes very little to thin it, so I'm going to go very, very slowly. I'm just gonna, oh, oh, I've already slopped some in, so. So you can see even just two little slops has made this significantly softer. Um, but still not soft enough to pipe some nice intricate decorations. It's, so it's starting to drip off the spoon, you can see that. Um, but it's still holding its shape. I don't think I'd want to go much runnier than this because then my piping will run on the house. So I'm gonna need another piping bag, load this in, and then we'll get started on the house. It's looking good, let's try this again. Ooh, this is much runnier, much easier. Oh, look at that, it's dripping. <laughs> Black icicles, maybe. All right, let's have a look at what it looks like in the front. <gasps> oh, it dripped on my pumpkin. Actually, I kind of like the dripping effect. The roof looks like a disaster. I did that on purpose, obviously. It looks like it's in disrepair. It's icing. It's supposed to be fun. I love this. So, it's a couple hours later. <laughs> Do you think it's haunted that my roof is melting? It's melting! Um, my bat. You can see my bat here. Maybe you can't because it's not focusing. There. You can see my bat. The back looks to have hardened, so I'm going to try to glue it in and finish decorating the roof. ready for the final approach. My bat is still down here. Every time I put it up, it keeps sliding down. So I think it's going to be just in time I'm to put it in and show you the final result.
and I'm actually pretty pleased with it. I think it turned out really, really cute. I am particularly pleased with the little rail detail along the top of the house. It wasn't perfect, but it came out well. The roof tiles look like they've melted, kind of run off, which, I don't know, makes it look haunted. The wood planks for boarding up the windows are easily the best thing about this house. And the little bat, it's not super stable, but it's really cute. Um, all in all, I am really pleased with how this little guy came, came out, and I would totally do it again.